Hi, this is Dr. Viral Parekh once again from Calcutta Academy of Radiology. This is case number 20 of the case of the week series. Here is a 33-year-old man presented to OPD with the complaints of gradually progressive pulsatile scalp swelling. A CT angiography was advised. So here are the initial images of the CT angiography. In the first image, we can see the left common carotid artery with its division. In the second image, we can see the right common carotid artery with its division. In the third image, we can see the coronal reformation of the right and the left common carotid arteries. In the fourth image, we can see the coronal reformation of the right and the left vertebral arteries, rather proximal segments of the right and the left vertebral arteries. In the fifth image, we can see the proximal as well as mid segments of the right and the left vertebral arteries. In the sixth image, we can again see the right and the left common carotid arteries in the coronal plane. So here are the slightly delayed images of the CT angiography. In the multiple images, what we can see is there are multiple dilated tortuous veins in the scalp. And in this particular image, we can see that there is a communication between the left external carotid artery and the scalp veins. So here is that image again. So what we can see, this is the left common carotid artery, which is dividing into the internal carotid and the external carotid artery. And what we can see, there is a communication between the external carotid artery and the scalp veins. And here we can see multiple dilated tortuous scalp veins. So these are the volumetric reconstruction of that CT angiography. Here we can see there are multiple dilated, in fact, hugely dilated and tortuous scalp veins and in this particular image we can see the arch of the aorta with its branches so this is yet another reconstruction of the ct angiography in this particular image we can see there is huge dilatation of a scalp vein so what is the diagnosis of this condition this condition is known as sarsoid aneurysm Sarsoid aneurysms of the scalp are rare with scanty reports available in the radiological literature. Brissett first described them in 1833 who coined the term aneurysme sarsoide. Sarsoid means resembling a varix, referring to the characteristic varicial dilatation of the draining veins. They have been previously also referred to as aneurysm serpentinum or aneurysma resmosum. But the term sarsoid has been accepted in English literature as a descriptive term for these lesions. Sarsoid aneurysms are either congenital or traumatic in origin and occur due to abnormal vascular connections that is arteriovenations within the scalp between the external carotid artery and the scalp veins. The superficial temporal artery is the most commonly involved. The congenital form can present at birth or more commonly may remain asymptomatic until puberty or the third decade of life. The traumatic form develops months or possibly years following scalp injury. Often these are trivial traumatic episodes. The patients usually present with a gradually progressive pulsatile scalp swelling. Headache, bleeding and tinnitus are other uncommon presenting complaints. The noticeably tortuous subcutaneous vessels can lead to progressive cosmetic deformity in untreated cases. So that's all for today. Thanks a lot for your kind attention. Take care.